Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2018. I'm Joe if you're new around here and welcome to part 5 of Life After Wenger. And in today's episode we take on Everton in the Premier League and start our FA Cup campaign against Bolton. Now, in the last episode, right at the end, you might remember I set a challenge of winning all the matches in December, maximising the amount of points we got. And this is how we got on. Not too bad, you might say. Uh, the last episode was the 3-2 defeat to Leicester. And since then, we have went on a pretty remarkable run, it has to be said. We beat Rosenborg 2-0, Aubameyang getting two goals there. We then beat Watford 3-0 in the league, Guendouzi getting a couple and Lacazette scoring. We then beat Southampton, we beat Elijah Warsaw, we beat Bournemouth, we beat Birmingham, we beat Fulham, and then we lost it away from home to Huddersfield. A little bit of a poor performance there, you might say. But we bounced back. We beat Brighton 1-0. Wasn't too bad. Uh, it was a late goal from Mesut Ozil that got us over the line. And we're back up to sixth place in the Premier League. So we've really dug in these last few um, games and have managed to get back into contention um, in the, the, the Premier League, which is really good. Uh, we've got a game in hand. If we beat Everton today, we can go up to fifth place. I can hear an echo, and I really don't know what it is. I think it might be something to do with me kind of uh, iron brew here. So let's move that out of the way, and hopefully we won't have any more echoes in this video. But uh, if we beat Everton today, which we can do, we should do, we're up to fifth again. And, and then we'll only be seven points off the top four, which is a turnaroundable gap uh, but between now and the end of the season. So, let's have a look at squad performances, something we haven't done for a little while. Top goal scorer is Lacazette with nine from 18, six for Aubameyang. So I think in January, we really need to look for a, a, a new goal scorer because Balotti hasn't been too good you know I've only started him in four games granted but he's been playing really really poorly off the bench as well and I don't know I, I don't know about him he's 25 year old we brought him in for 34 million he's worth 42 is it worth getting rid of him and bringing in another uh, world class striker perhaps perhaps um, a top average rating so far, by the way, is uh, Terea with a 7.38. Kalazanac has had a really good season as well. Uh, so has Danny Welbeck. Well, hopefully when he gets back, he'll be a really good addition. So this is the team for today, then. It's quite a mixed bag, really, of, um, of players in there. Uh, mainly because, hold on, let's, let's move these about a little bit. Yeah, that looks okay. Um... Mainly because we, we've had so many games recently, unfortunately. So we've got Leno in goal, we've then got Bear in, uh, Bartra, Socrates and Monreal. We've then got Guendouzi and Maitland-Niles in the middle with Ramsey, Lacazette and Nikita, 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 or Nikita as I'm going to keep calling them, and Aubameyang. Starting up top and hopefully we can pull something off today against Everton. Um... With a bit of a depleted squad, I'm trying Lacazette in behind the striker, see if he can do that. Uh, he hasn't really played there for us this season, although I'm pretty sure in previous FMs he has been able to play there. So I don't know why he's absolutely rubbish there this year. But who knows? So let's see uh, how he does today. You know, hopefully he'll be okay in the shadow striker role. But... Um, yeah, hopefully you guys are good, had a good weekend, and uh, are looking forward to uh, the final week of life after Wenger. Of course, this is a beta save, so uh, this will be finishing this week. We will only be doing the one season at Arsenal, and we're, we're already pretty much halfway through the season now, um, and we'll be looking to, uh, to, to finish it off at some point this week. So, uh, thank you for all the support on it, by the way. really, really have enjoyed um doing this and oh for goodness sake I don't enjoy it when Everton go 1-0 up oh from corner that is really really frustrating and you know it's sod's law we've had this amazing run and uh off camera and we'll come back today and we'll end up losing here's Bernard into the middle Ramsey's got it 
at the far post and he's pushing forward now. And Ramsey forward to Aubameyang who keeps it in. Can he get it back into the middle? He goes alone and that was probably the wrong decision from Aubameyang there. And now here's Andre Gomez <sighs> over the bar. Everton certainly have been on top so far. Ramsey playing terribly, which you'd expect. He's not meant to be a right winger. Here's Maitland Niles on the ball. Gets it forward and Nikita now. Nikita on the ball to Gwenduzi. Gwenduzi back to Bartra now. Bartra to Bellerin. Here's Bartra. Come on, Gwenduzi. Gets it wide to Maitland Niles. Gets it forward now to Nikita. Nikita on the ball. Gets it into the middle. Ramsey's there. And Ramsey scores just in off the post. His fourth goal of the season. Oh, that is a relief. <clears throat> that is definitely a relief. A nice little ball through by Maitland Niles. And Nikita was there on the left hand side. Nice little cross in, in the middle. Good header from Aaron Ramsey. And it just trickled in. A little bit of luck there. Doesn't go amiss. And it is 1 0. So half time, oh, uh, sorry, one all. Uh, half time, it's one all. Um, we've been the better team. Let, let's just let them think that, shall we? Um, the, the the players are certainly responding to me a lot more since we've had this recent run, which is great to see. And as you can, as you can see, they're they're pretty much all inspired there, which is really good. So hopefully we can keep that going. Here's Coleman, now Zuma. Here's uh, Calvert Lewin. Now Andre Gomez. Torsen. Oh, oh, I thought Aubameyang had it there. Bernard. <coughs> Bartra. Bellerin. Bartra again. Bellerin. Bellerin on the ball. Pushing forward. Well, he's lost it. You, you just sensed that coming. Socrates has got it though. Oh, he's lost it now. We're going to concede here. Guaranteed. Because we're, we're just being really sloppy. Davies gets it forward. Uh, Seng Torsen. There you go. 2 1. <sighs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable this game is sometimes. It really is. Skip. <sighs> 60 minutes gone. Aubameyang has been absolute rubbish. Let's bring on um, somebody who's got to be much better, Bellotti. Lacazette, surprisingly, not played a good game. Um, and we'll bring Mkhitaryan in on as well. So much for all of them getting a rest today, but what can you do? Here's Bellerin, now Ramsey. Into his more comfortable midfield position. Ramsey again. Gwenduzi with the shot, and it's a good save by Pickford there. Gwenduzi has surprised me a lot this season. He's been really, really good. Here's Mkhitaryan into the middle. Nikita was there, but didn't have the, the bottle to put it in. And it's away. I just can't believe that we're, we're behind in this match. Looking at the stats, we have been on top. <clears throat> but it's just not happening. Bellerin switches the play and Nikita loses it. Surprise, surprise, again. Nikita, back to Socrates, Nikita again, Gwenduzi, Ozil, threads it through, Mkhitaryan back to, why did he pass it back to Ozil, it was just stupid, he has sank, oh, it's going to be 3-1 isn't it, oh it's off the post, and a good tackle, <laughs> oh dear, here's Bellerin, now Ozil, Oh dear. Socrates, now Monreal. Monreal on the ball. Ramsey. Gwenduzi. Ramsey. Nikita. <sighs> Try to curl one round and somehow we're not breaking through here. we just got to hope and pray in these last five minutes we can do something. Bernard into the middle. Gwenduzi gets it away. Here's Andre Gomez. Bernard. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. How on earth have Everton won this match? <sighs> Skip. I'm just I'm baffled. 
absolutely baffled how we've lost this. And that is a really, really poor result at home. And that that just sort of sticks up two fingers at all the hard work that we put in in between episodes. And uh, and now we've got to go back to square one and, and we'll probably get beat by Bolton in the FA Cup. Well, a couple of changes for this match. And one of them actually enforced by uh, a, a sale. Uh, I've sold Mustafi for £40 million to... Um, to Bayern Munich, I think I, th- I think it makes financial sense. You know, he's played sporadically this season. Uh, Forty million pounds from Bayern, I I can't turn that down. We've got plenty of central defenders, especially now that Koscielny's back. So we've actually got a, a fair amount of budget to spend in January. So we may well be looking to do that um, <clears throat> at some point, and we'll probably introduce it to them in the next episode. So. Quite a few changes. I might as well just go through the full team for this Bolton match. We've got Leno in goal with Bellerin, Holden, uh, Koscielny and Kalazanac in defence. We've then got Drinkwater and Ramsey in the midfield with Mkhitaryan, Ozil and Awobi starting behind Andrea Bellotti up top. We've got to start giving Bellotti some starts. Um, and, you know, th- this sort of match is perfect for that. Yeah, you know, in, in uh, the FA Cup against Bolton where we're really heavy favourites and a chance for him to maybe get some goals a bit of confidence and make me play him in the the, the upcoming matches because we've got Man City in the Carabao Cup semi-final coming up um, which is going to be incredibly tough Um, and we've obviously got some Premier League matches hopefully a run in the FA Cup so he's got a big big opportunity to to shine and show us what he's made of but uh, we'll see Bellerin to drink water now. Here's Ozil forward to Ramsey. Ramsey all the way back to Kalazanac. Kalazanac forward to drink water. Drink water to Ozil. He has drink water again. Passes it forward to Mkhitaryan. Now he has uh, Ozil. Gets it wide to Kalazanac. Gets it forward to Awobi. Awobi into the middle. Here's Kalazanac again. Ozil. Drink water. Mkhitaryan. And it's a great save actually by uh, Anik there. Um. <laughs> I, mean, I was expecting a goal at the end of that but uh, what a fabulous save into the middle that, that is from Mkhitaryan and again it's a throw in so we're still pushing forward and Danny Drinkwater having a good game so far which is great to see obviously one of the new signings in the summer hasn't played an awful amount but uh, certainly has been doing okay when he's come in <clears throat> here's Williams grounds gets it forward to wild shoot now Oh, it's 1-0 Bolton. <laughs> oh, the curse of the camera. We were playing such amazing football in the run before this episode. <sighs> and just a simple ball over the top. Keep that absolutely terrible. Noon into the middle. Leno comes out to collect. <sighs> I just can't believe that. You know, we... we had a really good start of this match as well and, and just a ball over the top simple ball over the top and it's 1-0 drink water now he is a Mkhitaryan oh he's pushing forward now that was a lovely piece of footwork Mkhitaryan gets it into the middle but he's there and he hits the post oh this is summing up our day so far isn't it he has wild shut on the ball into the middle oh dear Oh no. I just I just don't understand. I do not understand guys. Into the middle. Magenis was there. Two nil. What are you meant to say to this? Pressured by the feedback. Are you absolutely having some sign some sort of joke? This is disgusting. Mkhitaryan pushing forward. Oh, what a goal. What an individual goal that was. I don't know how they can possibly credit Ozil with the assist there. That was ridiculous. What what an individual piece of brilliance from Mkhitaryan. One of the best players this season for us. He slots it into the bottom corner and I guess gets us back into the game. Come on. 
<clears throat> they're, they're inspired now. This is what we need. I just can't believe we went 2 0 down w within two minutes. That That's just. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. That shouldn't be happening. And Bellotti, how's he missing from six yards out? He's a striker with 16 finishing. Maybe even more finishing. Here's Ozil with the free kick. Oof. Nearly two all there. But. Not quite. You feel like a goal is coming for us, but. The way our day has gone so far, I wouldn't be surprised. Right, let's get Lacazette on. I think Balotti's had his chance now. Carry O'Neill, goodness me, I didn't know he was still playing. Um, 65 minutes gone now. Aubameyang's going to come on for a Warby. Ramsey's going to come off for Gwendouzi. We're going to swap them two round. And we've got 35 minutes here, or 25 minutes, should I say, to stay in the FA Cup. This is an absolutely disgraceful performance. Here's Aubameyang. He pushes forward. Oh, and a good save once again from Anik. It's just not nice to see. Ozil into the middle. Gwendouzi was there. Here's Aubameyang. Gwendouzi. Aubameyang. Drink water. No foul. No foul. And now they're on the counter-attack. What a tackle from uh, Kalazanac there. Or was it Koscielny? I'm not entirely sure. It was a brilliant tackle. Here he is, Koscielny. Kalazanac. On the ball. Forward to Aubameyang. Come on. Boots it forward. Here's Mkhitaryan. This is a good chance. Mkhitaryan. Bellerin. Into the middle. Ozil's there. It's in. It's an own goal. It's an own goal. That's done it. David Wheater, the man that has been Mr. Bolton over the years. He has been there since 2010 when they were still in the Premier League. Mr. Bolton has put it into the back of the net. It's 2 all now. Oh, and, and somehow we've got to try and win this match now. Come on, show some passion. <clears throat> we've got five minutes here to avoid a replay. Mkhitaryan gets it into the middle. Koscielny's there. Free header. <sighs> Not even the captain can get us over the line. And now we might lose. Here's Wieter. Mkhitaryan's got it though. Counter-attack is on. Here's La Lacazette. He's pushing forward. Trying his own bit of individual brilliance. And Anik with the save. It's going to be a replay. Bellerin. Mkhitaryan, Bellerin, gets it in, oh, and that's it, full time, and what a terrible day it has been for this save, if you have enjoyed this episode, and please say you haven't, leave a like down below, it really does help me out, it means a lot to me as well, subscribe to the channel for daily football manager content, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, thanks for watching, and goodbye.